Hey everybody, CBQ here, back with another edition of How It Works, in which we explain how autonomous mowing works to help you get the most out of the product and the most amount of savings. Now today we're gonna to be talking about reloading previous mapped or previous job areas, however you wanna call it. Uh, we're gonna be talking about why that's hard, uh, where we are in that process, and how it's gonna be rolled out very, very soon. So first, a quick primer on how our product works as of right now. We do allow reloading of the last map, but most of the time you will draw or mow the boundary of the, the area you'd like to stripe and set the mower off and it'll finish that job for you. Right now, that's the 80-20 rule at work. It does plenty great for all of our customers in the field. Hey there. And we are actively working on reloading maps. There's two things that are hard about reloading maps. Uh, now, currently we allow reloading of the last map. Now, how do we do that? There's a quick button you can press to reload the last map. If for some reason you did the same thing or the mower turns off or you went to lunch and came back, you can reload the last map. It cuts off right where it resumed and it'll finish doing the job. Now that's pretty easy. The interface for that is easy. And the only way it works is if you have highly accurate GNSS coverage. Most contiguous states, uh, all 50, if you have cellular coverage and, we, and you're in our data plan and you're paying your subscription, you have access to that so you can reload maps. If you are in an area that is cellular denied, you will not be able to use this service. Sorry, that's just where we are right now. But stay tuned, there are satellite-based correctional data coming soon uh, at another date. The second reason it's hard is that the interface to it is quite complex. One of the key tenets of GreenZ is to be a very easy to use system. We know how it is, you're out in the field, it's hot. You don't wanna be pressing buttons or hunting and picking on, on a Google Maps some location. The interface to do it is quite hard. We are actively working with customers in the field to make sure that it is an easy interface. Everybody loves showing off interfaces that they've never actually tried to do with sweat running down your face in the field and being like, was that the map I did yesterday? Ah, just screw it. So we are actively working on that interface with our customers and when we have it, we'll be able to roll that out very quickly. I did just want to tell, that's again, that's one of our most asked for and requested features. There are a number of reasons why it's safer as of right now to go around the boundary and not use a preloaded map. Part of it has to do with some of our customers' processes such as the take two process where you go around the boundary and you make sure that there's no uh, obstacles or other types of obstructions that could damage the mower or other uh, things around the area. So while we still continue to advocate for that, reloading maps will be coming out soon. Stay tuned, drop us an email, ask your local dealer, and get on board for the uh, next updates. All right, that's it for this episode. Let us know in the comments what you want to see. Thanks.